fans your boy dcs right back again on the weekend so today we have the how wheel series so it's full info all right guys before we begin with today's car it's a really special one it's the magnus walkers outlaw car the king kuda guys actually it's not a custom one it's actually the primitive Barracuda, this is the fastback edition one. So, okay, before I get on with all of the details of this King Kuda, I just gotta tell you guys that I'm doing a giveaway. Yes, you heard me. A giveaway of a, what you ask? A hot wheel, of course. Yes, if you answer a simple question, that is of the quick quiz, guys. Yes, the quiz is happening today. I mean, in this video. So, if you answer that question, you can win. Yes, the classic Fishify Nomad guys, which I also did in the last week's video. Check it out. And yes, you can win this car if you answer the quick quiz of today, guys. Alright, so go in with today's car. The Plymouth Barracuda, guys. Yes, so beginning with today's car, that's the Plymouth. It's called the King Kuda. I don't know why, but it has a nice name. Okay, it's got 9 out of 10 in Muscle Mania, guys. Not the same without the Hobby frame. It's a really cool open engine car. Yes, you see that. It's got a V8 and those side exhausts. That's pretty cool, right? That's all really awesome, guys. So, time about today's quiz right away. So, which car was Suki sketching in the movie Too Fast, Too Furious? Yes, you know the answer if you watch that movie. Check it out if you haven't. And and uh, yeah, comment the answer down below. I'll check them out. So remember, the winner gets the Nomad. So let's go for the unboxing right away, guys. Here we go. Right, freshly out of the box, the King Kuda right here, guys. So the first look is pretty damn nice, I guess. Well, uh, actually, it misses a lot of front detailings, like the headlamp detailing. It's, uh, you can't carve on that, but still, it really doesn't look all that very good. And here's how the engine looks, guys. It is pretty nicely detailed, I guess. Well, yeah, of course, the, uh, the injectors over there don't look so good. Um, yeah, can't say much about it. And this is how the interior looks, guys. Yes, I hope you guys can see that. Okay, so the outside detailing is pretty nice, I guess. It's for an urban outlaw right here. And the wheels are pretty slick, but there are normal wheels. And here it's written hot wheels. I hope you guys can see that right. And yeah, this is the top view. Yeah, it's written Plymouth right here. And here the urban outlaw decal. That's really nice. So the wheels are pretty average. The exhaust is right here as I mentioned earlier. And this is how it looks at the bottom guys. Yes, you have Plymouth Barracuda written right here instead of the King Kuda which is right here. Okay, so there's also the model number FJX55. So you can type that on Google to find this car. So that's pretty much it guys. That's around look. So why don't we just go for the info now. Here it comes. Let's talk and know more about this King Kuda guys as it is the info of this. Uh, of course the Plymouth Barracuda right here. So talking about its engine guys the engine actually there are so many So I just bought it down to 
two. The first one is the 3.7 liter slant 6 engine which is the base one and if you go for the top end it's the 6.2 liter BV8 guys which has a lot of horsepower and yeah talking about the horsepower uh, the first one is 145 horsepower that's of, of course obviously of the slant 6 engine and talking about the V8 the V8 produces 300 horsepower guys that's really cool back in the day well talking about the body style guys the body style is obviously you know that the two-door fastback well going for the transmission again it has uh, too many options but I've got it down uh, you have the three and the four speed ma uh, both in manual and in automatics guys and of course this car is a rear wheel drive well going for the production it actually began in 1964 and it ended up at 1974 pretty decent uh, years well going for the 0 to 60 time guys the 0 to 60 time is 6.2 seconds of which engine you ask it's of course the 6.2 liter v 8 guys I don't have any info of the 3.7 liter slant 6 and same goes for the top speed it's 195 kilometers per hour that's 121 miles per hour that's of the same v 8 well going for the weight guys the curved weight of this car is 1580 kilograms um, it's pretty good, I guess. Well, going for the length, the level of this car is 4,897 mm. Going for the width, the width of this car is 1,819 mm. Well, the last part, that's the pricing. Okay, at present money, it's ranging from $43,000 to about $70,000, guys. And here's the fact, it's actually going up to a hundred grand. Some of them, actually, because they're becoming more and more of a collector's classic. So, yeah, that's the info, guys. And moving on to the last part, that's the ratings. Well, looking at all of its details and its looks, um, yeah, of course, its performance also. I give it an 8 out of 10 guys, yes it deserves an 8 at least, well comment your rating down below and this is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to comment the answer if you want to win the classic 55 nomad guys, alright stay tuned for my upcoming videos and follow me on Instagram and Facebook, see you all, bye bye, enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching and do subscribe!